Hey, there is simply a better way to color grade in Premiere Pro and you will learn it in this video. I'll show you how you can match all cameras together, for example making your footage look like an Arri Alexa, then how to color correct like your footage is raw even if your camera doesn't shoot raw, we'll fix white balance and exposure with a push of a button, and I'll promise you that your color grading will get much better and faster. So, this better way of color grading is based on the Academy Color Encoding System, also known as ACES. This is a color grading system that they use for example at Marvel Studios and at many Netflix shows and more and more movies are made with ACES. The full ACES workflow is rather complicated because it's meant for Hollywood level productions and as a bit of a deal breaker it's not currently supported in Premiere Pro. So I guess that's the end of this tutorial then. Well, actually. There is a way to use the system in Premiere Pro and it's easier. This simple way to color grade is called ACES Lite. And as a disclaimer, I need to emphasize that this is different from the official ACES workflow to some degree. This method is developed by me and I'm not associated with Academy. I might end up in trouble if I don't say this. Um, I'm going to show you this way in Premiere Pro now. So in Premiere Pro, the main idea in ACES is to bring all cameras' different color profiles into one and the same color space, making them behave and look the same way. So your mirrorless camera, footage and Arri Alexa are now similar. By the way, color space, color profile, color standard and picture profiles are all basically synonyms. There is many ways of bringing your footage to ACES, color space. You could do it with the free plugin called OpenColor IO. This is the very same plugin they use in Hollywood in their softwares. But there's few issues with it. But let's still have a look at it. Uh, here we choose the import uh, input uh, color profile based on your camera of choice. My footage is shot with the uh, GH5 and Vlog, so the closest supported profile is this. It's not calibrated for GH5, but this is the closest we can get with this tool. Then we have many color spaces in ACES to choose from. In this video I won't explain this, but just choose ACES CCT and we are good to go. But we have a problem. Because Open Color IO effect is not meant for Premiere Pro, but for After Effects. It's actually just a hack that I can even use it in this software and I don't recommend it because it's really slow and it disappears from the effects control panel if you close your project and all of your grading work will disappear. So if you are planning to close your projects, don't use this. And the second issue is that these official ACES transforms are made mostly for high-end cinema cameras. So these won't work as well with your mirrorless cameras like Panasonic, Sony and Canon cameras. So how do we actually do work with ACES in Premiere Pro? Well, I have created a LUT kit of input device transform LUTs that we can use to transform our footage to ACES CCT. This library of LUTs is, uh, LUT files is, supported, is supporting many, many cameras that are not supported in the official ACES input device transform list. There is so many of these. Virtually all of the at least half decent video cameras are supported. You can find more information about this uh, LUT kit in the video description. So uh, let's transform our footage with the LUT. This is made exactly for the GH5. I'll use the Lumetric Color Effect input LUT slot for this. Now our footage is probably properly, what's the word, properly transformed into ACES CCT color space. So now what? To deliver the internet, we need to transform our footage from the ACES CCT space into color space called REC709, also known as PT709 and ITU709. This is currently the standard we use for internet delivery until we start delivering in HDR and there's a tutorial coming about that, so subscribe. It will help me a lot. To do the REC709 transform, I'll add an adjustment layer on top of all of, all of our footage so that whatever we do on the adjustment layer will happen to all of the clips at the same time. And again, we'll, with the Lumetric Color effect and with the input slot, there is many different options to choose from, but for this I want to use this LUT that is based on the official ARRI LOCK C LUT, giving our footage some of that ARRI magic. Now our footage looks very flat and that's perfect for color grading. So let's add some contrast with the Curves tool. This is superior for adding contrast because you can really hone in the look you want. This looks much better, but we can go even further. Let's make this footage look like it was shot on an analog film. For that we'll add a film emulation LUT to the creative tab, and these are by the way in the LUT library that I mentioned earlier. 
uh, and we'll add this before the contrast curve because film emulation works best for flat footage. In the LUT library, I have a folder full of film emulation LUTs for this purpose. Let's choose this one because it just looks great. And there we are. We created the professional look for our footage. That wasn't hard. So let's move on and let, uh, let me show you what else uh, can you do. To transform the next clip to SSCT color space, we need to copy the Lumetri color effect to uh, the clip. But something is wrong. This clip looks much darker because I accidentally shot it with much lower exposure. But no worries, with ACES we can accurately fix exposure with the right tool, just like we could if we would have shot our footage in RAW. That tool is an old tool in Premiere Pro you might not heard of. It's called Fast Color Corrector. It's actually really fast, faster than Lumetri Effect, really responsive. And these sliders, here we can fix exposure very accurate, accurately. These two triangles are like lift, this is like gamma, and these two are like gain. So now we have lift gamma gain tools right inside Premiere Pro, just like DaVinci Resolve or Baselight, etc. So let's fix the exposure. And you can see it matches perfectly, thanks to SSCT and this tool. How about this one? The white balance is off a lot. Can we fix this with ACES? Yes, we can. Let's do the same thing. Let's add the fast color corrector and we'll use this white balance tool. It's perfect for this. Let's lower our gain a bit to make this bit less sensitive. And let's find our correct white balance and we are done. We can really color correct our footage like it would be raw. But only with the right tools and ACES and if you have accurately calibrated input device transforms. So either shoot with some high-end cinema camera or use my calibrated input LUT for your full mirrorless cameras. There is so much more that we can do in ACES light. And actually, I have created a full color grading course on the topic called ACES light color grading course. This course has the LUT library that you just saw me use. It has support for virtually all of the at least half decent video cameras on the market. And I'm doing new calibrated LUTs if you ask for it and I can get my hands on the camera in question. And in addition, it has growing list of film emulation, creative look LUTs, but the course is so much more than a LUT pack. It's full color grading course that's beginner friendly, but will gradually deep dive you into highly functional and advanced color theory. The best part of the course is that I will teach you how, to, how you can match your footage to any movie reference. There is a robust step-by-step -step workflow on how you can match your footage to look just like a movie of your choice. And if you just want to learn more about ACES Lite and how it can really transform your color game, in the same link underneath this video or some, somewhere floating around my head, you can find my free training about ACES and advanced color grading and learn more about how to grade like a pro. So click the link and uh, see you in the training.